Hello. Welcome to today's workout. I am your trainer, Jana Heath, and we are going to do the fitness wish list workout. That being that a lot of people say, what could I add to my gym library of equipment um, that would be beneficial yet affordable for, um, you know, my wish list. And so two simple things, balls, and BOSUs. Now BOSUs are a little more expensive. Um, the BOSU is this blue half dome thing that you have see right behind me, but um, very effective and fun. And then balls are just stability balls, and mine is right there behind me. And the stability ball is very cheap and, well, very inexpensive um, thing you can add to your workout. Now, of course, my motto is no gym, no excuses, so you need no ex or no um, equipment at all. But if you would like equipment, I suggest the stability ball right there, or even cheaper, the mini ball right there. And the mini ball is something that I found at Toys R Us. It's, uh, thank you for the hearts for that. Toys R Us, you can find your gym equipment and do all your kids shopping too. So now that you're all joining me, I just want to um, demonstrate a bunch of exercises you can do with your ball, your stability ball, your mini ball, and your BOSU. So I'm keeping the, I'm keeping the um, intervals relatively short, about 35 seconds, so we can move through the exercises. So this is a, just a demonstration of what you can do with some of the equipment. Some are going to be challenging, and that's okay, because you can modify them. And I am going to use weights just to demonstrate. If you want to follow along with me, that's great. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. First, we're going to warm up with jacks on the BOSU. So I'm going to flip my BOSU over. BOSU stands for both sides up. The dome is on the bottom, and here we go. We're going to put our hands down here. Now, if you want to follow along with me, but you don't have this equipment right now, you're just going to put your hands on the floor, and away we go. All right, so I'm just going to jack right here. And so what the BOSU is doing is it's keeping, um, it's creating instability so that it's making it just a little more challenging for my core. Now, you can keep it the opposite way and put your hands on the BOSU. If you have wrist issues, it's actually really um, nice for your wrist because it kind of forms the shape. You know, let's your hands cup the, the top of the BOSU. So keep it going. So again, if you're just joining, this is just a fitness wish list demo. I mean, I'm working, we're, we're doing a workout here, people. It's working out. But I'm using this workout to demonstrate how you can use these equipment. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a burpee onto, and I'm going to jump onto the BOSU. I have a low ceiling, so this is always interesting. So I'm jumping out, in, and then jumping up. Now, if you're following along, you don't have a BOSU, or you have no interest in one that you want to work out, you can do this on the floor. You can jump up onto a step or a box. If you want to modify, you can just step in and out, or you can do squat jumps. Like I said, I'm just using this workout to demonstrate a few inexpensive items. Now this BOSU is a little bit more expensive and to be straight up, I have no affiliation. I'm not getting paid to do this workout. I'm not getting paid to tell you about these products. This is just that time of year. I'm going to flip the BOSU back over. Well, people are asking, okay, I want new equipment. What do I ask for? And these are just a few easy things you can add. So mountain climbers. This part, is, we're just warming up. Keep moving. Like I said, they're relatively short intervals, but we can keep moving. This workout might not make a lot of sense, but that's okay because it's about you and just demonstrating for you how you can use these products in your workout. Keep moving. Again, I flip my bow over to create instability. I have these nice little thumb holes I stick my thumbs in. Excellent. So I'm going to take the BOSU, now you can always use a stair or a step, and I'm going to take a heavy weight, my weight is challenging, I'm going to place my foot back for a lunge, I'm going to lunge right here, and I'm going to stay bend over and row. So I'm going to lunge, bend, and row. I'm going to lunge. Now what this is doing is creating instability. That's the whole point of the BOSU, it creates an unstable environment for your core, and yet obviously if I put my foot on a full ball, I'd be having a lot more trouble balancing. So this is kind of a nice cross between. And you can, of course, do this on the floor. Good. Now I'm going to switch. So again, just sort of demonstrating some exercises. There's, I mean, endless. This, we could be here all day, but we don't have the time. So. 
I'm just going to do an effective workout while I'm demonstrating these things. Now, if you're joining me and you don't have weights, you can still go through the motions. You can find something that's a little heavy. I always use, you can take a gallon milk jug and just throw some sand in it. And hold that handle. It's a nice weight. If you have nothing else, why, why not? Or you can ask for weights for Christmas <laughs> or Hanukkah or whatever holiday you celebrate. Or just because. Good. Now I'm going to do mountain climbers a different way. I'm going to put my feet on the BOSU with the more stable part down. And I'm going to tap the floor. So I'm going to do mountain hoppers where I'm actually kind of hopping. Now you can do these on the floor. You can completely forget about this. And you can do jumping jacks or jump ropes instead. Keep going. Keep going. Now, I'm going to go over the top of my booster, so I'm just going to move it to the side so I don't kill myself here. And I'm going to go up and over the top, punch down. You can do this on the floor, you can do this over a step. If you're watching and not joining, and that's okay. Maybe this will inspire you to do something, whatever makes sense to you. Remember my five-minute rule. Just do something for five minutes, or set the goal of five minutes. And maybe you'll do more, but at least you just have five minutes. Good. So I'm going to do a push-up, a spider push-up, where my knee comes towards my elbow right here. Now, you can do these on your knees. You can do them on a step, with your hands on the step, with your dumb step. If you have a BOSU, you can flip it over and do it with your hands on there, that way. Key is to find something that works for you. I believe my assistant just woke up, so we're going to have a visitor. Yep, there's those little feet, Manny. We're going to have a visitor in a moment. Hi, Mommy. Hi, honey. Come on up. Hi. Hi. Did you hear me? Yep. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I meant to turn the beeping off. We're going to go here. This uh, time we're going to stay bent over. We're going to row and lift. This time you have to turn the beeping off. Oh, I'm sorry, so, baby. So you don't wake Yep. Yeah, so I can wake up. I'm sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. It's not that early, though. You're, you're okay to get up. I'm sorry I woke you up with the beeping. I normally turn the beeping off. <laughs> We're going to switch. I'll turn it off in a second so I don't wake Daddy up. <laughs> Lift that leg and row. Yeah. Are you going to sing for us while we work out? Do we have some music? <laughs> That's delightful. One leg's coming up. So you can do lots and lots and lots and lots of that work on the BOSU, but we're just going to do a few things because I want to move on to the uh, other two. Uh, uh, I think they, they, they haven't seen Legos yet. They haven't seen the Legos yet? Mm -mm. Okay. So, so I'm showing them what Legos look like. Oh, okay. 
switch legs. I bet a lot of people have seen the leg of you and your, and your monkey. You're so silly. Are you going to play for a little bit? Okay, thanks. Thanks for showing us your stuff. <laughs> Uh, real life here, real time. <sighs> no excuses. <sighs> Keep going. So the benefit of doing your abs on a ball or a bosu is it creates a greater range of motion. So it's deeper into your abs. When you go on our side on the bosu, let me just shut this up real quick. And a lot of these things you can do on the ball, too. I'm not going to yeah. waste time showing you crunches on the ball and things like that because you know. push-ups on the ball. Well, we can do push-ups on the ball, too, and I'll show those in a second. You can show them if you want to. Huh? Um, it, 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 here we go. So we're on my side here. You can always do uh, push-ups on the ball. And if you don't have a bow suit right now and you have a ball, you can do them on the ball. But, Just like but this. It, it, and if you it, don't have a ball, roll, you can do this on it, the floor. It, is it too rowy? Then you can also do on the floor down here. Yep, you can do your push-ups on the floor. That's true. Very good. Oh. Well, thank you for joining us. This is very helpful. Very helpful. You are a star student here. And we're going to switch sides. So like I said, if you don't have a BOSU, you can do this on the ball. You can do this on the floor, too, if you don't have either. But the BOSU and the ball, what that does is it creates a greater range of motion. Now, if you're having some trouble, you can put this hand down and do it like this. Otherwise, you want to really try and use the core and lift the hands and keep them off the ground. But, you know, do what you need to do. Mommy? Yeah. When can I stay up? Because I think he's sleeping. Uh, not for a while. Daddy sleeps late on <laughs> Sundays. <laughs> oh. Welcome to our family. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like I said, this is real, people. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot, 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 lot of things you can do in the BOSU, but I just kind of want to move on yeah. for a few minutes. We'll come back to that. All right. Push up. So, push ups, yep. We can do push ups. We can do lots of things. Yep. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do over the ball here is I'm going to show you. And then the charge will want to show you. You're going to roll over your ball so that your knees, uh -huh. or, or more, go and, over the ball. And, and, if, and, if, the, and, and if the ball is too rolling, you can do push ups right then, here. Then you can do it on the bow suit. Yep, you can do it on the bow suit. But uh, it's push ups on the bow suit. Yep, it's push ups on the bow suit. Alright, you're doing push ups on the bow suit. I'm doing it on the ball. Now, you can also take it a step further and you can pike. In between, or pull the knees in in between. Whoa, uh, the bosu isn't much rolly. No. no. I can't do the big pose, so I need to do something littler. Yeah, that's true. Like the little ball? You can do the little ball. Uh, uh, or the bosu. And now I'm going to stay here, I'm going to tuck my knees in and out, and I'm going to tap my leg up this way. Tuck my knees in and out. I'm going to tap my legs out. Tap. Tap. jumpers in and out for some cardio.
going to it to them on the boat. Yeah, it looks great. There's lots and lots of things you can do with boats here. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh -huh. only showing you such, such, such you a few amount of things. You can do endless things on the boats. Uh, uh, I'm going to go back to the ball. I'll get it. And you're going to grab some weights. So I use the ball a lot for my clients. There you go. <coughs> Thanks, honey. As a way to get a big bang for your buck, because your butt's in the air, so your glutes yeah, have to be and engaged, you, and your you, core is involved. So you, I'm going to take heavy weights. This on the boat too. Yeah, you you precious. Do it see, slowly. he's demonstrating. Fast. Right, but it's not going to do it really fast, right? We're going to start with just chest presses on the ball. So you're going to be lifting your butt in the air. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. My, he's really like a magician over there, assistant. All right, here we go. Press them up. You want to keep your hips high. So the benefit of doing your exercises on a ball rather than a bench is, like I said, you've got your glutes engaged, uh -huh. your core is engaged, and you are on an unstable surface. So that's creating more work for your core to do. And the benefit of this versus the floor is you're up higher. You can do greater range of motion. And like I said, the ball is a great gift because it's per fairly uh -huh. inexpensive. So you know the chest flies. You can do any arm exercise in the ball. I'm just taking you through a few because this is, I'm working out. This is not just, I should, I could just give you a five second demo, but I'm not. I'm going to let you, you know, in on my some tips, but I'm going to work out along the way. I mean, you can join me or not, or you can tune off if you're not happy with watching me do this, but whatever you want to do. Like I said, I'm not, I don't get paid to do any of this, so it's not, I'm, I have no affiliation with any of these products. I'm, I'm really just giving you some ideas to add to your wish list and some ways that you can use these products once you have them. And we're going to take them over our head like this. And this is just working your triceps. You keep your elbows bent here and then straighten them up. You're not swinging your arms around. You're not doing anything other than bending and straightening the elbow. And if you're here and you're not used to being on a ball for this long, you might feel your glutes start to um, fatigue. But if you're used to this, if you work with me on that, you're probably like, you will just stay up forever because you just feel a monster, a glute monster. And, oh, a glute is your butt. Someone was asking, what is a glute? It's your butt muscle. I just put it out there. So we're going to switch gears for a second, go into abdominals. So you saw the um, the single leg crunches on the ball, mostly. So on the ball, you just need a little bit of support, and you're just going to go as far back as you can and come up here just like this. Now today's workout is going to be a lot of, obviously if you haven't figured out already, core work because that's what the balls are really, really useful for. So using a lot of upper body or anything like that. If you've been following me the last few days, I've been doing an arm challenge, nice arm for New Year's challenge. There will, uh, there's one that should still be up. Or there's, if you're on YouTube watching me, then they're all up on YouTube day one through day seven. Today will be day eight, the final day. And then you can put them all together for a good workout. So nice arms for New Year's challenge. On YouTube, it's No Gym, No Excuses. On Facebook, it's Jana Heath, H-E-A-T-H, -E Fitness. Oh, good. Our serenader is back. take two weights. If you have one weight, you can use the one weight. I'm going to put them on my hips as I roll out, and I'm just going to dip my hips down and lift up and squeeze the top. This is a good glute exercise. We're going to go to legs and just and glutes in just a second. So here's one. And like I said, you can do so many different exercises. Arm exercises on the ball. So many ab exercises. But this is just a little tip. If you're looking for more, you can 
search through my YouTube videos. Again, no gym, no excuses. And I've got tons of videos, and a lot of them will include the ball and the bow fizz and the mini ball. So you can look for more ideas there. Okay, we're going to go on the floor. We're going to put our, and you can do this on a bosu, you can do this on a step, but for today's purposes, we're going to use a ball. And we're going to be rolling the ball in and out. Now, for those of you who are new to the ball, you want to keep your arms out to your side. You want to roll the ball in and out. If that's too much, you can just simply lift up and down. All right. If you feel more advanced, you can take a weight in your hands over your head. As you roll the ball away from you, you're going to reach the weight overhead and bring it back up. It is very tricky, so just do what you can do. You want to keep your butt in the air. You're going to feel this in your hamstrings mostly. Now, another one I like to do, and we've already done a chest press, but just for today's purposes, I like to do single leg press and chest press. Now, you need to put your arm inside. I'm just holding the tip because that's what I can reach. Now, you can do this without a weight, but for today's purposes, I'm just going to do more bang for my buck since I'm kind of doing just short sets of everything. Like I said, I want to get an effective workout in while I demonstrate for you. Okay? So, now, if you're doing this without a ball, you can put your foot on a step or a chair. And that works just fine. <coughs> Switch. Every time you lift up, you want to think about pulling your belly in. So you're working your core and you're lifting and supporting your back, okay? And real quick, like I said, there's tons of stuff we can do on the ball, but I want to move on for a second. Real quick, I wanted to do um, lunge jumps with the BOSU, even though I'm not a fan of lunge jumps. If you follow me, you know I don't like them, but we do them. So we're just going to switch and lunge jump. Now, you can do these without the BOSU, of course, on the floor, especially if you're feeling unstable. Well, like I said, I got this one at Toys R Us. I find them in um, amounts of six at a time at um, Oriental Trading Company. But you can use any child's toy ball here. It's squishy, so it's not super hard, so it doesn't hurt your back. Place it behind my, my spine here. And the thing with the ball is that it is um, pretty challenging. So if it's low on your spine and you feel discomfort, uh, too much discomfort, Raise it up higher, <laughs> or just take the ball out, put it between your knees, and you can go into some crunches. If you don't have a mini ball, you can just kind of follow along without the ball, or you can go onto your bigger ball. So the key here is hyperextension, which means you want to stay back in that arch position more. So it's not about coming all the way up. It's about staying over here and then coming up just a little bit. 
So we're going to do some just basic crunches right here. And like I said, it's, it's, it's not comfortable, okay? It's just how strained do you feel in your back. If you feel too strenuous for your back, sorry, my son just kicked the ball over, then you want to get rid of it and put it between your knees or take the ball higher on your spine. This ball is also great if you have knee issues. You can stabilize your pelvis by putting the ball between your knees. Now we're going to take this mini ball here behind the back again. And we're going to, kind of like what we did with the ball and the both feet, we're going to lift and crunch right here, alternating the legs. Now this is not easy, so you can always stay seated up hot, like more upright and just lift the legs alternating. You can also put your hands here. Do you like uh, the, the, the Christmas tree shining? Yeah, it looks nice shining, yep. Make it even here. Touch it out. Okay, you're going to lean against the ball. You're going to reach back here like this come up and then open the other way. Hey, Mommy. Yes. Uh, the tow truck is looking so good. But I just stand right up. Awesome. One more to make it even. Okay, I'm going to give your back a rest for a second. You're going to go back to your bosu if you have one. If you don't have one, you're going to stand on the floor. You're going to grab your weights. Okay. Straight up. Mm-hmm. We're going to stand on the bosu if you have a bosu. If you don't have a bosu, you're not going to see it on the earth. Stand on the floor. Back it up. Remember, it's unstable, so just be careful. We're going to squat and curl. So you can stand on the BOSU here. Just be yeah, careful. BOSU, it, it, you know, squat it, if you don't have the same color BOSU, then you can That's can true. You I think it, you're right, Richard. I think they come in pink and blue. Uh, I have the blue one. I'm not a fan of pink. So here, I'm a fan of pink. You are. Now just I remember, any type of exer exercise, you have a risk of injury. So just be very careful when you perform any exercises. Okay? Good. Now I'm going to stay on the BOSU. I'm going to bend down. I'm going to do kickbacks. Now, the thing with tricep kickbacks on the BOSU is your weight has to shift to keep you on the BOSU because you reach your leg, your arms behind you. Your, for, your, your torso leans forward a little bit. Your abs engage to keep you on. Woo! Like that. I was looking at my peripheral at my son, dancing around, and lost my balance. You have to really focus. And I'm going to do squat to standing rows. I would do sh shoulder press, but my ceiling is way too low. So my head's probably being cut off in the video, but that's okay. You don't need to see my head. So we're coming down here, and I'm going up. Mommy. Yes, sir. Uh, today, uh, the Again, as you lift uh, your arms up, you have to balance. Abs are nice and tight. Toe tuck is what? Right here goes to the, to the <sighs> You're still with me. You're doing a great job, guys. Not easy to hang in there this long and work out. I think you can fast forward now on the replay. So if you're really just getting ideas, you can always do that too. Okay, going back to the mini ball for a sec. Put the mini ball behind your back one more time. Okay, so we're going to take a weight and we're going to twist. And when you twist, we're going to lean against the ball here. 
you start up tall, you lean back, and you want to aim for your elbows to the floor. So when we twist, we want to try and twist back as much as we can. Now you can certainly do this without the ball. The ball may, the ball may allow you to get back just a little further than you normally would. And we're going to take that weight, if you can. You, know, you can do this without a weight if you want. You're going to reach it over your head here, and you're going to lift the leg up as you come up. Now, if it's too much, because you take it over your head so that you feel your core kind of have to engage to, so you don't fall over the ball, then do it without the weight. Switching gears too much here, we're going to take um, our arms over our heads like this. You're going to go back as far as you can, right here, and you're going to pulse. Now, if that's too much, it can be very strenuous. If it's too much, you're going to A, put your hands behind your head. If that's so strenuous, put your hands over your chest. If that's too strenuous, you're going to forget the exercise completely, and you're going to do some roll-ups. So you're going to lie flat on your floor, and you're going to roll up. You're just pulsing. This is that hyperextension. I, w I spoke to you about that you're in this hyperextended state. We're always in forward flexion with our, our shoulders rounded forward. So I want to get into that other state here. And rest. Good. Now, with the ball between the knees, you can do lots of exercises here. A lot with weights, without weights, anything like that. One I like to do is, is I like to do my half windmill with my chest fly, single arm chest fly. So I keep my legs straight or bent. It's up to you. You go to the side, you lower the arm to one side, the leg to the other. And I squeeze the ball so that my inner thighs are now activated or engaged, activated. It sounds like I'm, you know, defending the universe here. <laughs> Missiles activated. But anyway, um, they're engaged. And they're firing, so it's true. I mean, the muscles have to activate and fire, just like anything else. So we're doing that right now. And you want to use that exhale to lift the ball up, or lift your body up. Okay, here we go, other side. And like I said, if you're looking for more ideas, even more ideas, if you search my YouTube videos, uh, No Gym, No Excuses on YouTube, you'll see I've got hundreds of videos, and a number of them have the ball or the BOSU or the mini ball in them. And if you're looking for some without, then I've got plenty of those, too. I've got no equipment and, ex and equipment ones, too. Okay, so we've got tons of exercises. In fact, I'm going to do one more right here where I roll up and squeeze the ball and then roll back down. I roll up, squeeze the ball, and you can always add a tricep motion in here, or you can go over your head. Ooh. Why not? It's about bang for your buck, right? One more cardio that I want to do while I have you here. I'm going to jump forward and back. Obstacle. My frogger jumps with the bow stick. So I'm bringing my feet towards my hands here. I'm almost done for today. That means I have to feed my child here.
you want to stay off your wrist at any time, you can do toe taps on the BOSU. It's another exercise you can do. Um, and then, of course, like I said, there's tons. Another great exercise to do on the BOSU, if your weights are light enough, or when you stay on the BOSU, bend over and you do reverse flies, that's great too. But we're running out of time, so I'm going to do a plank on my ball. So let me just grab that real quick. So, if you've been planking for a long time and you find me, you need some challenges. You can do on the BOSU with your elbows in the BOSU, your feet on the BOSU, or you can use your ball. So, can use the ball. Yeah. Can I go wake up? Mm -mm. Daddy, when? Not for a long time, honey. Sorry. Uh, Full disclosure, I didn't get up for a long time. Huh? After we're done, baby? No. Daddy didn't get up for a long time. Full disclosure. Now well, you know. I want... Well, I'm sorry he sleeps then on Sundays. I don't know what to tell you, kid. This is nothing new. So we're going to stay... I don't know what to tell him. We're going to stay up here in our plank. So what you want to do, if you're using the ball, is you want to keep your chest off the ball. Your elbows and your forearms are on the ball, but your chest is off the ball. So if you're lying with your chest on the ball, that's not a plank. That's just you relaxing on the ball. Now, if you're having trouble but you want to try this, take your ball and put it against the wall, okay? That way you've got something stabilizing the ball. And you're still challenging yourself, but this way you're a little bit more stable. And for um, extra credit here, you can shake the ball side to side. I'll sometimes like tap the ball with my clients on it or kick the ball a little bit, not in a mean way, but just to create instability, keep going. So we're just kind of shifting front and back here, you know, just kind of saw motion, creating more instability. Keep going. I'm circling the ball like I'm, like I'm mixing a pot. You can go the other way. You know, you can just hold it like a normal person would. But I'm shaking it around so my core has to look a little bit harder. Make sure that no matter where you're planking or how you're planking, your abs are engaged, your butt is down, and you're in proper form. Now we're planking a little longer than a minute today. Normally, I keep it at a minute for these videos, but today it's a little longer. And rest. And on you the did ball. a minute 20. So good job for you. So. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. That was just a bit of a demonstration, nothing too crazy, Bye. of our, Bye. how you can use thank some of the equipment for, on your... Thank you for seeing my Legos. Yes, thank you for seeing his Legos. That was just a bit of um, a workout on how you can use some of the fitness equipment Bye. on your wish list. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.